okay friends now uh, we will draw the ball on the canvas uh, to draw the ball on the canvas we will define the classes means the class of the ball okay here is the class of the ball uh, we, which will take the radius and the color in the ball class we will have to um, define the method of drawing the ball on the canvas uh, let's do it okay here uh, you can see the canvas uh, in this uh, canvas dot draw in circle self position self radius okay you know what is self radius the radius of the ball and self color the color of the ball and self color the color of the ball and this self color refers to the outline of the ball and this is the fill color of the ball and this is the width of the ball outline okay now we'll have to define what is the self position we haven't defined it yet uh, now define what is what will be the position of the ball first try with the position of the ball at the middle of the canvas like this okay at the self position we have defined this at uh, the middle of the canvas the width by 2 height by 2 uh, now to draw the ball we will define uh, ba double l equal to this where uh, the ball will take the class of the ball you know this is bigger ball this is little ball uh, and it will take the radius and the color which we have already defined and then we will draw it on canvas like this ball dot draw canvas uh, i have said it before that draw canvas uh, will refers to this ball and this ball is refers to ball radius and color and this ball is fine this class will be fine here and in this class you will use the draw canvas that means this defined canvas I'm sorry for the misposition okay uh, I think I have drawn the uh, ball on the canvas in the in the middle position let's see oh yes I have drawn it uh, but now maybe we want a random position of the ball in the canvas uh, we don't want to use it we'll have to we want to use a random position uh, for that uh, let's see this example uh, here uh, for the random position uh, position uh, we'll take the random range from uh, here to there and here to here uh, so but uh, to take the position uh, if we say the random value from 0 to 600 then it can take any position within this uh, box means the rectangle it can even take this position if it take this position then the ball will be drawn here and uh, some portion of the ball will be outside of the frame to avoid that we will limit the random position by minimizing the uh, extending from here uh, and equal to r that means the radius of the ball and minimize the uh, width by this another r here also this and there okay so we'll have to take the position of the random mean the generate the number of the random within this value within this portion so that uh, the ball is shown in the canvas to do that in the rectangular domain uh, we will define random position uh, by this where it will take the radius uh, okay let's see that uh, random dot random uh, from it will take the value from radius that's mean radius is uh, 20 uh, to self width that's mean self width means 600 minus uh, the radius that's mean the radius r minus this portion and minus self border that's mean the width of the border which is uh, which is uh, self border into 5 this is the x value and y will y value will be the same like that and it will return x and y this is the coordinate to use in the ball class uh, we will like to um, define the position like this random position uh, self radius but it will not take it because the random pause in this class 
and we are using it in this class so we'll have to connect this class with this class uh, somehow but how we'll connect that to connect that we'll change the init like this oh, sorry here uh, we'll uh, give the entry of domain in here let's change it in here too mm. but what is domain domain refers to this rectangular domain but here defining uh, here if we mention domain it will understand nothing uh, to understand everything uh, we'll use field that's why we have defined it earlier that it is rectangular domain so our ball class uh, take radius color and the domain and domain is field that's mean rectangular domain so we have a great access to that domain so let's take this domain as this and now we'll update the self position like this okay here self domain dot random position that's mean random position refers to the self domain and this and this domain is connected to uh, field and the field is connected to rectangular domain that's mean here so we have a great access from one class to another uh, so in this video we have learned how to get access from one class to another okay um, you should have imported uh, random earlier i have done it before okay let's see okay let's see what has happened oh, the ball position is now here we are expecting a different position later it has changed here it has gone to here so the ball change, uh, position is changing uh, with the starting of the program so uh, in this uh, part we have learned how to draw the ball on the canvas randomly okay this will help you to understand the connection between two class and this is very important for programming that you can connect another class with another okay Thank you for watching.